Hey, what's up, everyone? And this is Loon. I'm Loon, and welcome to my channel. And thank you for watching. And so today, I'm going to dive you guys through the system I/O certifications, right? So recently, system I/O has come out with a new programs and a system I/O certification programs. Where so where you can go on to is go on to www dot system io system dot io slash certifications right so why you should become a system io certified so you can know more features about it you can monetize your expertise you learn the new ways to use system io right you can even work faster or you know that yeah no pressure complete the course on your own piece right so eventually after your certification if you have completed you will get a certificate of completions uh, these are samples over here all right so who is this for okay if you're a new user if you're a partner builders so i'm a father builders it's perfect for me and next is an agency if you are an agency it's totally you should get this for that right so how you can get the system i will certify today okay very simple go on to click on your email and then click get certified right now so once you click on it and complete uh, this, okay, you can go on to your dashboard. Okay, you log into your system I/O account. Go to your dashboard. Okay, click on courses. Once you click on courses, you may find system.io certifications. Okay, so over here, let's get started uh, for this system I/O certifications programs. So I've just completed, and yeah. Let's jump through you read right so it takes a while for me uh i think around 20 minutes to go go uh, for the system io certification programs eventually because i know the functions and i i will i have to skip for that to, to make sure that uh yeah for it so for you if you are totally new take some time to watch it okay, it will take about 30 to one hour 30 minutes to one hour it depends on your speed Okay, so mostly the first is the introductions. Secondly, it will be the main dashboard, affiliate dashboard. So what is the uh, affiliate dashboard will be? Okay, it's more on to find your affiliate links. Okay, if you want to promote system IO, okay, as for now, it's getting a fifty percent of the commissions when somebody subscribe to you. So if you are still new, you're not sure. Okay, if you are willing to sign up with my affiliate programs, uh, affiliate links, and there's a link down below, you can sign up for that. Right, and I will highly appreciate for uh, for help as well. Okay, next will be a marketplace. So marketplace is a place that uh, where you can put your products to the marketplace. Uh, it's a platform for you, and somebody's they can take your products and promote it, or you want to promote other people products. Okay, that's totally find for in the marketplace you can find your affiliate links and so on and in the uh, in the marketplace for that okay and next we're talking about contact tabs uh, one and part one and contact text tab part two so these contact tabs will be more on uh the how if you have a lot of leads coming in a lot of emails and not sure how to perform the contacts uh filter okay this is way on how you can uh, these two videos are going to help you right so we go on and this will be a favorite part for you okay i have already completed so you have the answer for that so what is the specifics a uh, features called in the system io that allow you to categorize your uh, contact list in different groups so the answer will be the text so only the text can help you to segregate out a uh, this different group for that so next will be the affiliate ids affiliate so someone will be asking a lot of uh, some a lot of people are asking where should I find my affiliate IDs to promote a system IO. So, so this is the uh, the links. Okay, it will be like, like in this way. So if you are not sure, you can go on to dashboard affiliate dashboard. Okay, you can just copy your affiliate. That is your affiliate uh, IDs for that. The next will be which of the following statements is true about in the marketplace. So okay, it's a virtual space. So I'll be talking about this and then. Uh, next, we'll be adding on a there's a search bar for you to find easily find uh, the vendors, the offers for, for it. Next, uh, which of the following features is missing from the contact tabs in style? So, in the system IO, 
okay, you cannot directly send emails to others, okay, in the contact text. So this is not be able to perform for these features. So what does the email activities filters allow you to do in the contact list? So identify the contacts whoever opens. So this is a, a very powerful uh, filters for you. So make sure you go and uh, look at it. Okay, you can see that who haven't opened, who haven't checked, uh, eventually uh, know that haven't opened your emails. Okay, and go on to the funnels. Okay, for funnel steps, we more on the how you can eventually start to build your own funnels and then the, the design, the editors part. So I'm not going to dive in for that. So the automations, you can watch on the details. Uh, for, for the video is talking about all the details okay so automations uh, this video is talking about automation rules a b testings uh, your leads a deadline of the funnels they okay, all about the test uh, the work on that okay and lastly for the order forms okay this self funnel we'll be talking about order forms so the favorite parts and most people like it okay because you talk about money you want to sell products you want to okay how am i going to price uh, my uh, service uh, so that's the part that you can be pricing are uh, in these uh, columns and where you're going to access for that okay in this video and lastly we talk about the upsell and downsell where you can upsell your products where it could be your opt-in offer the sales page next will be uh, leaving someone to have get a bigger offer that you have so this is the upsells or auto bumps okay if it's like a sweet and taste that people to take a small auto bumps for that so you can be setting through in this video so we'll teach you how and lastly we go on evergreen webinar funnels and this evergreen webinar funnels so in system i know you can be doing that however i'm not really like the features uh, for system io webinar i hope that it can be improving in the future Please for that. So, going to the lovely part of you, both of you guys love it. So, this is the uh, quiz for that. So, what's the purpose of the quiz page in the funnel? So, okay, to help you to collect and save leads. What are the blocks in the context and the buildings in the page and system IO? So, pre made elements to help you build your pages, even if you can get it quickly and done easily. So, what's the difference between the simple blocks and the master block? Yeah, simple blocks do not change across the all page when edited, while a master blocks it can be changed. Okay, so what are the purpose of CSI was A B testing? So, you, you will come on the two versions of our pages when people click on it. Okay, some of these traffic will go on to on this page. Uh, maybe another one when you click on it, you will jump on to another place. So we will take on testing on a different traffic when coming in. Eventually, we will determine which one performs well or even better for that. So which page is typically used to present the main offers? Okay, for sure it's a still speech. Okay, that's buttons over here there, and you can put on it. So which payments options in orders allow customers to make an in recurring payments? So a full payment, okay, is a, for sure, is a sub subscription. Yeah, it will be unlimited for subscriptions. Okay, for a payment plan, it will be like a, a year payment plan, but it do have a subscription for the payment plan. But in these questions, subscription is the answer for that. So what is the purpose of available substitutes in the email editors? Okay, is to help to provide personalized information to the subscribers. Okay. So once over you have hit over here, you probably you have hit the 50% of the course for that. So for block type structures, okay, we're talking about structures one, block part two, okay, I will straight away jump to the quiz that you guys love it for it. For sure. So what is the purpose of the block layouts? Okay, it's adding elements that appear across all the pages. So what are the purpose of block listings? Okay, so display the latest post published on the blocks. So what is the purpose of the categories features in this blog is to help to organize into different topics or themes. So if when you create the blocks with the categories, okay, in the sections for that, so it helps you to uh, have a different topics. It will help for that. So which page on the blocks allow visitors to send messages to the owners? Then for sure is the contact page. 
for other page is not allowed because there is no uh, have um, two way directions that I can put the uh, contents and I could put my email address to it right and next okay, we go on automations okay the first thing we'll talk about are the automation it is how you're going to actually accept your automations with the uh, emails attacks and so on right so make sure that when the things is triggered so workflows will be our uh, identify uh, how you can take actions for that so i do have a videos for talking about automations uh, versus the workflow so what's the differences for that okay so if you're not unsure about in this video as well you can watch my video to help you and guide you for it so we jump on the quiz okay this is a short quiz which triggers can be used to set automatic actions when a contact is complete and emails can be. So for sure campaign, after the campaign is complete, you will get a trigger. Okay, which triggers you should use if you want to send automatic actions when someone is clicked on the link on email. So for sure it's the email link and the click. So which options allow you to split the path on an actions in the in the workflow and an average and a decision you will go on to split of it. Okay, either they choose these or they choose them. In the workflow examples, what is the purpose of adding a delay? So if to wait for another day, so the delay is actually will help. If people will feel that uh, it's not, I feel like scamming, you keep on spamming my emails and so on. So adding delays will eventually help you in order uh, for a better conversion to nurture others. Okay, go on to products. Products will be on uh, physical products, coupons, you want to discount communities, okay, there's courses, uh, part one, part two, teach you how to sign up for sure, and we go on to a quiz. Okay, in a product that, what information can be accessed in the order sections? Okay, customers, emails, address, information about product and offers to fill their status. So the order sections, Okay, you will be putting on when people you need all the information for for sure for the physical products right okay you need, need to know where they are being um, the, the place to be delivered okay you need to know their contact numbers you know their email address you need to know their names as well okay so when creating a coupon in the system what is the purpose of setting the limit of use so it's to restrict the number of times of the coupon can be used so this is to help if you have running an offer Okay, let's say you run a three days offer. Okay, it could be a promotion. You don't want you to let people to get a lot, so you just restricted it. And what is the purpose of automatic post approval when settings the creating community? So this is really determines whether okay a group of your communities, okay, so which members you already be verified and they allowed to post some things. And what is what must be chosen in order to enable the delay features for courses within a course bundle? So for sure, in the drip content, it will be a, have a delay. And let's say people will jump on your course, and this is the first place uh, not to delay, and next the second place, the place for them. So which of the following is an unnecessary when creating a course in system IO? Okay, for sure, the selecting a payment method. Okay. And next, in the system I/O, which options is available when editing a lecture? So all of the above, you can be remove the lectures, you can be deactivate the lectures, you can be duplicate the lectures as well. Okay, and we are going to end soon, right? Okay, maybe a couple of minutes. So this is a short quiz for uh, sales. So the system I/O, which options are available on the subscription page when canceling? The customer subscription okay you can cancel immediately or cancel on the next payment date so which of the following allow you to view the payments made by customers through funnels orders form say you can click on the transaction tabs it, it helps you to view whether this is a payment to be happening so on the subscription page what are three status options available to filter subscription so okay this is a filter you can be actually look on the active Cancel or completed. Okay, not refundable is not uh, not available for, for, for this. And the next thing is email. Okay, email. There's a three types of emails: emails, newsletters, emails campaigns. 
immune statistics. So you need to know these three things. So what are the differences for that? So for a newsletter, we will go and save, send. Okay, this will be what options allow you to preview. Okay, this is a preview method. Okay, when you want to preview it, you need to send to a test email for that. So which email address are allowed to be used as a standard email? So so in previously, maybe two one years, I think one years before, system IO have a great changes for that. So uh, Gmail is never be added okay, as a prof and or a professional email address. And previously just a professional email address and this is a good changes uh, as system IO upgrading upgrading for this. So next how can you add contact to the email campaign in system IO? So you can contact can be added manually by selecting the tag groups uh, from the list or automatically through the automation rules or workflow. Okay, so what is the main difference between the news items and the campaigns? So news items are more dispersed and don't necessarily follow a sequence while email campaigns are coordinated set of the individual needs sent across a specific period of time, which with one of the specific purposes. So why system IO monitors the specific email statistics of each account? It is to identify risk categories of the account based on the email's performance. Okay, and lastly, to get your certifications. Okay, so we'll go on to setting tab, and it will be more on the setting tab to talk about how you can perform your settings for, for that. So, where can you add a personal information, display name, a first name, country, and your, maybe your company as well? Okay, this is where in the perform settings. So, these settings allow you to add tracking. Okay, in the sales funnel setting, okay, for a Facebook page, so we you have your ads, you want to track on that, okay, Google Tags, okay, sales funnel settings will help you. So, what is the purpose of every program settings? Okay, is to help you to uh, ded uh, dedicate the uh, establish the commissions, percentage, and uh, payouts conditions or for a few programs. So, how can both space members be invited? Okay, you want to have a book space member to join in. So it's just by clicking on the book page, okay, you just need to add their email address and we don't, they will receive uh, emails for that through the work page. Work and space uh, emails, so they add, eventually they will approve it so they can get into the dashboard. All right, so I think it's done. So in the last sections, right, so you will receive a congratulations. The way you want to do is you go and uh, click on this link. And then send a contact us to their contact us. Send an email to them. Okay, I just I just finished and completed the send to them. And then wait for a few, maybe one or two days. Hope that I will receive my certifications. All right. So, and lastly, I want to say that. So, if you are no times for doing a funnels, so you're if you're looking to hire someone. So I might be one of the persons that you can be considered so i do have um, my portfolios and happy to share with you okay if you are interested to work with me together okay you can email to me that loon at looncoin.com okay i will be putting uh, the email down below okay you can reach out to me and we can work together uh, for the future i hope that to deliver the best for you so i hope this video has helped you guys well and i will see you in the next videos and bye!